guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a good day morning whenever you're watching this um today's video is actually um something that i never thought i would make honestly because um i never thought that i'd be here like having a channel so it's kind of full circle moment for me right at this moment um but basically the little bit of backstory behind this video idea is i get questions all the time about my youtube channel um it could be like people that are scared to start a youtube channel like how i kind of just put myself out there basically i've gotten like technical like tech questions like people that don't know how to edit um i've gotten music questions i've gotten intro and outro questions i've gotten questions on like what program i use I'm trying to think what else there's like endless questions that I've been asked like throughout the whole time that I've started a YouTube channel honestly oh uh, and how to make my thumbnails is another question I get I get so many questions all of the time about different things on my YouTube channel so um today I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can um this will probably be a long one so um I will try to cover as much as I can if I see that it's getting a bit long I will make a part two to this but yeah I want to, I don't want to like cut anything short you know so I'd rather have different parts to these than make it like too summed up and you don't get it you know so yeah that's what today's video is going to be it's going to be kind of the basics of my channel basically and how to start your own channel and things like that so let's go ahead and get on into it okay so now first I have a MacBook Pro um, I believe this is a 13 inch that I have. This is mine. Um, this is my wallpaper. Yeah, it's a very basic one. It's a it's kind of an older one. I believe this is like a 2013 MacBook. Um, so it's definitely not one of the newer ones or anything like that. Um, I actually bought this um, used off of one of my friends because she wasn't using it and I really needed a laptop and MacBooks are a pretty hefty price so I definitely got a way better deal by just getting this used off of her um, and it literally does everything that I needed to so it's literally perfect um, but yeah so I'm gonna start with I feel like the biggest question are you guys gonna take me seriously with this I'll take this off I feel like I looked like a whole bum yeah okay so we'll do this <laughs> Okay, so the number one question I feel like I get is my editing and how I edit my videos. I feel like editing is the hardest thing to master and I still haven't mastered it yet. So this is kind of like the basics of editing. Um, I feel like myself, I learn every single day new things on how to edit. I watch so many videos on how to edit and different things like that. Like I'm constantly learning. I feel like with this type of platform, you never stop learning. I feel like everything evolves and you just keep kind of learning, you know? So I'm going to show you basic things on how to edit basically in this video. <laughs> So I'm going to be looking over here because I'm going to be looking at my computer screen, but I'm going to screen record my computer screen so that I can insert that into you for you guys. I'm going to kind of have to explain. Um, so currently I use Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is a very advanced system that I'm still getting used to. I still don't even know too much about it. I'm still learning day by day on this Final Cut Pro, um, but it is $300 to get. So it's a very hefty price. It's something that you really have to consider and you really have to think to yourself if you want to purchase that, you know. So personally, when I was first starting YouTube, I honestly did not want to pay $300 for a, like an editing system and I had never done it before, you know. So for myself, when I started, I used iMovie. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today because that's the free version of editing software and it's just so much easier so um here is my first makeup monday this is my face routine um so i'll use this to show you guys brief um things on how to edit you know so we're just gonna put this one this is just a minute long video as you could tell um so four things to note first on here things that i found that are like tips and tricks on here um for this if you go right over here in this section it looks like a bar if you do it to the left you're gonna make the actual video a lot shorter it makes it a lot harder to edit um 
So the further you go, the more spread out it is. And basically it makes it easier to edit. So personally, when I edit, I like to keep it on, I'd say about the third level. It just makes it easier to edit and see everything laid out. Um, on here to if you need to cut something out of a video like let's say I wanted to cut out this whole part of me showing the product you know um, so then I would go to where I want to start like I will double click onto my set um, mouse you're gonna click split clip and it'll split the clip right there and then you're gonna go to another part and do the same thing then that clip is going to be it's on its own and you just delete that clip and it'll basically just delete that whole entire clip out of there. So um, right here is the volume for the clip itself. So you can raise that all the way up to 400 or you can completely mute the whole video. Uh, this is good if you have music playing on in the background. Um, sometimes it's not loud enough so I have to raise this a little bit or I like to mute sometimes so on this I'm just gonna mute so that nothing bothers anything here um, I'm trying to think what else for um, adding images onto your videos itself um, I don't think I have any pictures oh okay I have my desktop picture so I'll just show you that briefly you're gonna put that on top of your video basically um when you first do it it's gonna look like it's taking over the whole screen now i get this question a lot all the time like right now there's something on the screen but there's also me you know um for that in imovie you're gonna go to where it says cutaway and you're gonna go to picture in picture that is gonna make it very little over here if your image is not completely in this box as you can see mine is but if it's not you're gonna go to this cropping button and you're going to go to fit it's going to fit the whole entire image that you just imported in and then you're going to go back to this image picture and that's when you can make this as big as you want or as little as you want you can place it to where you want it on the screen um this video is a little bit harder because i am like it's a it's a vertical one you know but so let's say i wanted this to be next to me but not covering my face so I will put that about there it'll line it up for you um, so then when you look at the image it's on where you want it to basically so that's how you do that with images because I felt like that was really really big you can also do that with videos so if I wanted um, this I'm trying to see. okay this video if I wanted it next to me I would do the same exact thing just it's just gonna be a video now um, and I always recommend to go to fit because you never know. So let's say I wanted two of me for some reason. Um, I would do that. And then when you go back to replay, it'll have that. So that's kind of how you do that. Um, I felt like that was something that was really, really kind of rough revolutionary for my videos is for me to add different things onto the actual video clip. Um, when I learned how to do that was, I think it was like my what's in my iPhone video. Um, that's when I really learned how to put things on my screen. And it changed kind of the game for me because a lot of my videos, I put a lot of things on my screen and it helps a lot with pictures and things like that. So that's how you do that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Text. Text on iMovie is a little bit harder just because the, so it's under the titles. But you, the options that they give you, those are the on, only options that you have. Um, you can't move the text. You can't do anything like that. Um, you could change the font and the size of it, but you can't change like the positioning of it. So whatever it has, that's what it's going to do. So the one that I used a lot in my videos beforehand, if I just wanted text, because most of the time I just want standard text on my screen, um, I would use this text right here it's called standard lower third now when I use that here's the clip itself you I would use I wouldn't use the first 
one itself, I would erase that and I would use the second bar to write whatever I wanted to write onto my video. And then that's how you add your text. But like I said, it's gonna stay in this corner. You can't move it, you can't do anything to it. One thing I do love about Final Cut Pro is I can insert text and move it wherever I want and can have any effect I want, anything like that. But on iMovie, this is what I did. So that's that text. Um, but yeah, that's what I would use for text wise. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, do, you could play around on here and see what else there is. If you're wanting, I'm going to cut this so that I could show you speed wise. If you're wanting a clip to be sped up, you go to this, um, it looks like a, it's called speed. Um, you go to speed and you can go slow, fast. Freeze frame means that it'll like pause on that image. Um, or you can customize it. So most of the time I'll make something fast and then that'll just speed it up, you know? You'll just look fast. Um, I feel like that's the basics of editing on iMovie. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. But iMovie is definitely way more simpler, way more simple than Fit Final Cut Pro. Um, I found that I'm like Final Cut Pros when I first got it. I was like, I don't even know how to like split a clip to edit something out. Like I really had to learn all over again. So my movie is way simpler. I used it on my laptop itself. I've used iMovie on my phone. I've edited videos on my phone. It's basically the same process. Um, yeah, it's basically the same process. It's just obviously like a little bit smaller on your phone. But yeah, that's how I edit videos on iMovie. Um, I believe that's all I ever did on iMovie really. I didn't really mess with the transitions. Oh, I know one thing that was kind of groundbreaking-ish. So audio, when I pop something onto the screen, I like to put the, I'll put the noise right here. Like it goes, like the pop noise. It's called bottle cork or cork or something. Um, so an audio, that audio is actually free. It's not an audio that you need to pay for. Um, so it's on iMovie itself. It's called bottle cork. I just typed in cork. Um, basically you just drag those audios in and then it'll have it in there. Basically the top part of your video is any images or anything else you want on the screen and below it is going to be your music or any, um, effects like this. So I really highly recommend to look through all of these. Um, you can get some really cool audio effects in here. Um, for the most part from what I've seen, these audios are the same things that are on Final Cut Pro basically. So that's about it for iMovie, I believe. Now, for my music, on how I find music for my videos, I will show you. So first of all, I go to YouTube, shocker. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the search bar. Basically, you're gonna search either like no copyright music or non-copyright music, things like that. So I'm just gonna type in no, copyright music um you can do like background music um, music instrumental music hip-hop you can really kind of customize to what you're looking for but i'll just click music just to see what's on here um and i just look through here um i think it's a bit easier like if you look like non-copyrighted music for background um and it'll just show you a whole bunch of different audios that you can use for your videos that are not going to get you copyrighted so let's say i wanted to use this one it's called tropical i'm gonna stop it so that there's nothing playing because i don't want you guys to hear that so basically what i would do is i go to the search bar and i'm gonna copy the url on here and then i would type in um mp3 video or youtube video converter like that. So YouTube video converter, as you could tell, I use this one. <laughs> um, if it's not the first one, then the website itself is um, YT MP3. So basically, you're going to take your URL and you're going to paste it into this itself and you're going to convert it to an MP3. 
basically that's going to convert the video into a downloadable file where it's just the audio from it and then it'll convert it and it'll ask you to download it like right here you'll download it and once you download it you it'll be saved onto your computer as just audio so once you convert the audio you can drag it i like to save things to my screen i didn't convert that one because honestly i've never heard that song before so i'm not sure if it's a waste of my space <laughs> but it's basically you would just take it and drag it into here as regular audio um so here's some other audio that i have this is a drake song i'm not even sure what song this is but basically it's going to turn into audio on here as you could tell like the audio is very loud so i would drag this down just to save some but i'm gonna play it so you guys can like hear so you get it okay so on the bottom green just means just a straight audio um that song was from time by drake i think i used that for one of my makeup mondays so that actually makes sense because i edited this on okay anyways but yeah that's how i get my music that's how i convert it to just sound and things like that now i get questions about if copyrighted music on how that works now you can't use normal music basically like i can't use like what's the song like drake's non-stop like i can't use that in my video i'll get copyrighted for that um basically copyright means that you won't be able to monetize your videos and you won't be able to make money um a question i get asked is do i make money when do you start making money on youtube personally myself i don't make any money from this i don't make any money from any of the youtube videos any of the instagram posts that i do i've not made a cent from my social media presence i've gotten some types of perks um but those are kind of more on coming it's up and coming um a lot of companies will reach out and try to give you discounts but i've never gotten any money or any free product so those are to answer your questions the time that you start to make money and you can start to monetize your videos is when you hit a thousand subscribers so once you hit a thousand subscribers youtube will review your whole channel and that's when you can get monetized for to make money but basically if you have youtube strikes on your channel they will not monetize your channel to make money if that makes sense so that's the importance of copyright um i know people that don't even care about monetization so if you don't care i mean you can copyright all you want the only reason why i care at the moment because i mean i'm not making any money from this i care about copyright because anybody so let's say i used drake's non-stop in in my video right now and when i got if i get copyrighted for that um whoever owns the song itself it is probably his the record label so whoever owns that song can put ads onto my videos um and it and it'll basically take any money that I would make and just give it straight to them. Like the copyright goes straight to them. Does that make sense? So when to make money on YouTube, your monetization comes from ads. And it comes from if you when you watch YouTube videos, how an ad will pop up either like in the middle of the YouTube video or at the beginning or something like that. Um, that is how they're making their money. So the longer you watch an ad, the more money the YouTuber is getting. So that's why people will ask you to watch the ad all the way through because they're making more money from it. Now, myself, since I don't have any ads on my videos because I'm not monetized here, um, the person that has a copyright strike on my video could put ads on to my video and they'll be making all the money from that. So that's why I kind of care because... I mean, I put all the hard work into my videos and I edit all of this, you know, um, so I don't really want anybody else to be able to get money off of my hard work, you know, so that's my kind of thought process on this, but yeah, to each their own. That's kind of the copyright incidence with that. Now, I do use sometimes, like I've used Drake's from time, but um I use that um 
I think it was for Makeup Monday. I've used like songs that you know um, for videos and not get copyrighted for them. Basically for that, I, let me show you. I'm trying to think of a song that I've used of recent um, to show you. So I'm just gonna go to YouTube again. Um, so I will use, um, I used um, I Want You Around. I use that one a lot in my videos. So basically, here's the song itself, you know. But you can't just use a straight song itself. So I will look up, as you could tell, it's this one that I use. But I'm just trying to show you guys. You can do this with any song. Um, it's not guaranteed that you won't get copyrighted. Sometimes I just take the chance. Mo from what I've seen, I don't get copyrighted from it, but I used From Time from Drake, and I did get copyrighted for that one. Um, I didn't get a copyright strike. That's when you won't be able to get monetized, but I did get the copyright kind of warning, if that makes sense. So that's when people can start to add the ads, like I said. But basically, you'll look at the song that you want, and I look up instrumental. Um, so it's right here. So like I said, the one that I used, if you want this exact song and I've never gotten copyrighted for it, is this second one. And basically it's just the instrumental part of the song itself. So I've done that one. I've done, um, I used trust in my um, videos itself. So you just look up the song, instrumental, here's the one that I used. Basically, um, or a lot of songs, uh, um, let's think of like a really popular song. I'll use Nonstop by Drake as an example. So you can look up instrumental. It might, oh, it does. I'm trying to find one that doesn't have like straight instrumental. So, okay, let's pretend it didn't have instrumental. You can, if it doesn't come up, you can do karaoke. And that'll come up with just the audio of the song itself. So you can kind of play around with those and see. Sometimes they sound a little bit weird because they're trying not to get copyrighted themselves. So they'll like up the the sound or something like that. So just kind of listen to it, see if you like it. That's how I kind of get the more popular songs without getting copyrighted is I use karaoke backgrounds to them or instrumental if they have the instrumental version. But yeah, that's it for the music part and that's how I do that. I hope that's helpful because I feel like music is a big thing that a lot of people kind of look at. Um, so I can tell that this is a 20 minute video already from just this recording that I can see. And I know that I'm going to, I know it's going to be like... A long video you know so I'm gonna leave it for this as my part one of finding music on YouTube and basic edits on iMovie um so that's I'm gonna leave it at that for today because I feel like this video will be an hour long if I go through all the topics that I want to go through so yeah that's how I find music on YouTube for my YouTube videos how I convert them and basic edits on iMovie like I said I highly recommend iMovie it's so good a lot of people do use it um and yeah so let me answer some basic questions in this as well that I get kind of a lot and then I'll close this out and I'll kind of tell you guys what I have planned next so my basic questions or tips for you guys um I get a lot of questions on my setup so I'll insert a video of the ring light that I bought I did show it in one of my videos basically I got that off of Amazon I believe it was like $25 it was honestly such a good investment um I do film on my iPhone that's personal um I find that my phone is fine for at the moment um I decided to invest into my editing at the moment um, with buying Final Cut Pro then buying a camera. I am saving for both but I decided that since I had enough saved up for the editing software I wanted to up my editing. So yeah I don't have a fancy camera. I, ha I do have the iPhone 11 Pro Max so honestly my camera quality is so good like my makeup monday that would just went out has great quality like you could see all the freaking pores on my face 
um, and that was just done with my iPhone. I just used the back camera because the back camera obviously has better quality than my front camera, but that's all I use. I don't have fancy equipment. I do have a bigger stand-up tripod and a bigger like ring light um, and a separate tripod but I find that this setup is a little bit simpler for these types of videos if I'm going to somewhere like if I'm filming with Vanessa or I'm filming with like bit like a larger group I will um, take those with me because it's it'll stand out further you know other basic things that I bought obviously not necessarily necessary to start a YouTube but just kind of if you guys want it this is another tool that I got off of Amazon it's a handheld phone tripod this is good for editing I like it a lot if I'm briefly setting something up and I just need to briefly film something I'll just set this up and then film on this you know so this is honestly something that I found really useful not necessary but definitely a good thing to buy if you if needed um so things else I my tips are to just start your first video is never going to be good um please don't watch my first video but my first video is my eyebrow routine and I'm pretty sure it's so bad I haven't watched it yet should I react to my first YouTube video I might have to do that um because my one year on YouTube is actually coming up <laughs> so that's super exciting it's actually coming up in I think like two months or a month no actually I think it's like in a month not even I think I think it's a lot sooner I'm gonna have to look up into that maybe we'll do like a reacting to my first video although I don't want to do that but maybe we'll do that um but yeah it was terrible like my first like five videos I would have like my friends watch them and I'd be like can you tell me what you think because like obviously I was still insecure about it and everybody's like it's good, like you're doing good, but you just keep saying, um, <laughs> and they were right. I went to go watch back like one of my third videos or something like that. And all I was good saying was, um, um, I would like say a sentence that I, um, um, yeah. And then, yep. Yeah, mm, yeah. Like terrible. So you get better with talking on camera. You get more comfortable on camera. But that's with time, you know? You can't expect your first video to be amazing because it's not going to be. Um, you're gonna make a whole lot of mistakes. It's never gonna be as good edited as you want it to be. You know, sometimes I'm editing a video and I'm like, I want this to look like, who's a good editor on YouTube? I feel like there's a few good editors on YouTube that I really, really like. I like Emma Chamberlain's editing style. Um, David Dobrik has a good editing style even though his are just kind of like brief edits I like his editing style um, I like a lot of people's editing styles everybody has their own little style to edit so you can never really look at other people's editing styles but just kind of be your own on here you know um, just have fun with it just do you um, little tips is to film in front of a plain ish background as you could tell this is not my favorite setup, but it's just the setup that I used today, like briefly. Um, this is actually the corner of my closet. Um, so this is my closet. Well, th that's my closet and this is my mom's closet, but closets, you know. Um, the only thing that I hate about these is like these little handles. Hate those, but you know, we just deal with it. You know, you want a plain, as plain background as possible. Um, I filmed on my dining room table before and it just has like white blinds behind me So I just try to be as bland as possible if you want um, It's something that I've thought of myself is to invest in like an actual Background you can do like the paper ones or you can even go to the fabric store and buy a sheet of fabric and then hang that There's just nowhere for me to hang something like that here. So Maybe in the future, you know <laughs> So yeah, just a plain white wall works perfectly yeah honestly just start that's my biggest tip is just start you'll get better with time your editing skills will get better your talking skills will get better it'll just get better with time just kind of something you gotta learn um 
for what to post that's honestly kind of what kind of content you want to put out i find that i put out like vlogs but also like beauty but also like health kind of like a lifestyle vlog kind of situation on my channel um so do what fits you do what you love um if you love to cook make a cooking channel if you love to play video games make a gaming channel like you can do endless things here on youtube like anything that you think you would want to watch i guarantee somebody else wants to watch it too i made a whole video on spooky baskets for that i made for my friends that i honestly just made because i was like well people make spooky baskets so why not make it it's my most viewed video now yes okay i think it has like 3.5 thousand views I think it has 3.5k views. Let that sink in, okay? It's just a video of me making spooky baskets and what to put in spooky baskets. That's what the video is. <laughs> but it's like my one of my most viewed videos. So honestly, just start. Any video that you put out there, if you would watch it yourself, somebody else will watch it. Um, if you want to make a vlog channel, they're honestly so popular nowadays vlog vlog anytime you hang out with your friends vlog anytime you go on vacation you can just vlog i've made vlogs of my work day and those still get views you know so just do it um i know it's kind of very rewarding when you get a lot of subscribers and it's very rewarding when you get a lot of likes and a lot of views but just do it because you want to do it just do it because you want to love to do it you know um because it's a lot of hard work. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't realize how much work goes into a YouTube video and to make it and to edit it and to do all the background work of everything. Um, so if you don't love it, you're not going to stick to it at all. Um, I get a lot of people that say like, you post twice a day. Like, yeah, I, I mean, sorry, twice a day. Isabel, you're giving yourself too much credit. <laughs> you post twice a week. Like, yeah, I do. And I know these big YouTubers who make so much money when they make one YouTube video and they only post like once a month. And I'm over here posting two times a week. And they're saying that they can't. And all they do is YouTube for a living. So I'm like, how is YouTube the only thing you're doing for a living and you don't have time to put a video up once a week? And I'm over here putting two up a week. So... You know, just do you on here. That's basically the whole motto of this for scheduling routines. I don't think you really need one. I feel like it shows consistency and it shows your viewers when to expect a video from you. So it's honestly kind of really rewarding because I know most of my YouTube, the YouTubers that I watch have scheduling videos or scheduling routines. So I know when to expect their videos. My scheduling routine is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7.30 and I feel like you guys know when I'm going to upload a video so it just shows when you're going to upload and kind of give your audience some like trust and faith into you but it's definitely not necessary. You can start with posting whenever you feel like it and then if it's something that you truly love you can create a scheduling, a, create a scheduling routine create a schedule for you to upload as you can tell like you see like it never gets easier and you never become a perfection like you never become perfect at this it's a thing that you have to learn how to do but yeah those are my tips of today that's me rambling I will get off of this video because I'm pretty sure it's a long one and I'm so sorry about that. Um, so other tips that I wanted to kind of give to you guys is how I made my intro, how I made my outro, um, how I make my thumbnails. I think that's about it. Um, I also was thinking about doing a video on how I edit my Instagram pictures. I'll enter my Instagram right here. Not to chew my own horn, but it's very good. The theme is a1 right now so i was thinking that um basically i will make another part to this i'll probably do how i make my intro my outro and then how i edit my thumbnails like in another part um so yeah i will be back with that um i will probably try to put that up i'll say next week 
um, maybe next Thursday, maybe? I don't know. I'll try to get it up either Tuesday or Thursday for you guys. But yeah, those are my tips of today's video. So I guess part one of this, this is not going to become a series. It's just until I kind of get all the information I want to you guys. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, all I can say is just start and just love it, basically. Um, you got to put in the hard work. It'll if you see people starting YouTube channels, you will know who truly loves it because they're consistent with it. It's very hard and it's a lot more difficult than people make it look like it is. And you'll kind of know if people love it, you know? So yeah, love you guys so much. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Love you. Bye.